Well, a very good afternoon to you, my friends, and happy Wednesday, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 20. Is that correct? Let me just check the watch. Yes, today is the 20th, and there's only four, five more days till Christmas. Can you believe it? This time next week, it's all over. It's all over. You join me on a very happy, lovely day. It's raining, and it's cold, and it's cozy, and it's everything that I love. It is so nice today. Some people hate the rain, but me, I love it. This is like my ideal weather day. I actually had to go out early this morning and it was absolutely pouring down with rain. So I had to go out with my umbrella and walk in the rain. And I was like, I love this. I would take this any day of the week over the heat and the humidity that we've been having over the last Oh my gosh, almost feels like all of December has been really hot. It's just so nice to have a break from the, the awful, awful humidity that we've been having over the last couple of days. And look, I'm even drinking a cup of tea in the afternoon. This is crazy. I'm actually having one of my advent calendar teas. This is the Earl Grey tea that I opened the other day. So I thought we'd have a sip and give you some feedback on what it tastes like. Mmm, it tastes like a really nice Earl Grey. It's a really lovely... Also today I am wearing my very fun T-Rex shirt that I made like a couple of weeks ago I think. I thought I should try and at least wear it once before Christmas. I've had a couple of compliments on it uh, so that's always a win. I'm really channeling the Christmas vibes today. It's Christmas everywhere. On the wall, on the mug, on me. I've even got a cute little like ornament to show you in a second. It's just very Christmassy today and I love it. So I did just mention that I had to go out early this morning. One, I had a really lovely package in my PO box which I'm going to open with you in a minute but I also had to do those last little Christmas present pickups. I am 100% I think Maybe let's knock it back down to 99.9% .9 sure that I finished all my Christmas shopping, which is good. But when I was in TK Maxx the other day buying some presents, there were a couple of things that I had my eye on and I decided to leave them. But I ended up going back to TK Maxx today and I picked them up. I was like, I like them, I love them, I'm going to bring them home with me. They're just two little things that I thought would be nice to share. The first is a new Christmas ornament for our tree and it's this cute little thing. I don't know whether it's a mouse or a koala. I'm pretty sure it's a mouse because koalas don't have long legs like this. I mean, neither do mice. That's beside the point. But its little face and head reminds me of a koala with the big ears and the big nose. And I just thought it was really sweet. So cute. When I noticed that it was still hanging there, I was like, you need to come home with me. It's meant to be. So she came home with me. I was looking at the tags when I got home and it says I am handmade. So I love that. Even though I brought it from a, a big commercial chain store, this little ornament has been handmade. I think I'm going to call her Delilah. I won't remember that for next year, but this is Delilah the koala mouse. I don't know. I don't know what she is, but she's cute and she's found a new home. The other thing I got from TK Maxx is a candle. There's this one from Woodwick and it is in the I was going to call it flavour. You don't eat it. It's in the scent called Oat Flower and it's just a really lovely florally sort of, I don't know, it's not earthy. It's it's sweet but not sweet. I don't know, it's hard to explain but I, I love it. It's really, really lovely. I also really love the wood wick candles because the wick that's in it, it crackles as it burns so it sounds like a really nice sort of like fire just crackling in the background. It's just very like cozy and just a bit of me. So yeah, I, I treated myself to a new candle. I haven't bought a candle in ages. And this one is just so delightful. I love it. The other thing I wanted to share with you is a lovely parcel that I got in my PO box. I do you know who has sent this from me? It's from a lovely viewer in California and they mentioned that there was something coming in my PO box and it has arrived. So we're going to open it together and see what it is. They've sent me something from the Dahlia Society in Victoria. I've never heard of them. So I'm very interested to know what is in this beautiful pink package. Let's have a look. There's a little sticker here at the front and it says the Dahlia Society. On the little slip of paper that came with it, it says it's the Great Gatsby Dahlia Society Bespoke Sewing Box. So that sounds 
very interesting and very funny indeed. I do like the Great Gatsby and like Art Deco sort of stuff. So, ow. So I am intrigued. Let's see if I could open the box. Oh, very nice. That's what we have on the inside. Let's see what we've got. Oh, I see some food. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Oh, there's some lovely things in here. Oh, this is nice. Wishing you a very happy new year from the Dahlia Society. It's a lovely little postcard of an Art Deco lady. Oh, I love it. That's really nice. I think I might frame that, pop it on my wall. So first off we have some salted caramel bang. It looks like it is like a chocolate bar with some salted popcorn in it. That looks lovely. Handmade in Tasmania. Salted caramel popcorn atop quality chocolate with fluffy marshmallows and roasted peanuts. Divine. Yum. We have a spool of Gudeman thread in the color 800, which is just their white. I use this all the time. So that's amazing. We have some tea and this is, this is an Earl Grey. Look at that. It's an Earl Grey kind of day. Wow, this little sewing box is just getting better and better. Next we have some woven labels. These look amazing. These are by Sarah Hartz and there's one that says made with joy and then there's a little star one. I love them so much and they will go with my collection of labels that I have been collecting over the last couple of years, especially from all of our advent calendars. I do have something wrapped here, but before I open this, I'm just gonna show you. There's a beautiful link of fabric. This beautiful Art Deco inspired fabric. It is a viscose lurex by Penelope. That's what it says here on the selvage. Oh, it's lovely. It's so soft and gorgeous. There's two meters. Two meters of beautiful fabric. Oh my gosh, that would make the most sweetest little skirt. So it's got these little bits of lurex woven in. That's what makes it all shiny. It's so nice. I love it. Oh my goodness, the person that sent this to me. Thank you so much. This is such a lovely, lovely gift. Wow, I'm gonna look these people up on Instagram and follow them. How fun. All right, I'm gonna open this little parcel here. This is the last item. Oh, it's a bottle of something. Oh, what's Earl Grey and Bergamot bubble bath. We don't have a bath, but this kind of thing I will definitely use in the shower. You can still use bubble bath in the shower. Oh, it smells really nice. It smells like something you'd get in like a luxury hotel. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for sending this to me. I'm just blown away by such lovely generosity and it's truly made my day. So thank you so much. I tell you what, this bar of chocolate will be really nice with this cup of tea. Pair these together. We're winning. So while I'm in a nice happy mood, I'm going to do some sewing. I've just got the overlocker out and got it all working and she's good to go. So we're going to finish the seams on the top of the dress. And then the next step is to do the armhole ruffles. And that's where I'm going to try and experiment using the rolled hem foot that I showed you yesterday. In yesterday's vlog. We'll see if I know how to do it. I'll drink my tea first while it's nice and warm and uh, yeah get stuck into it. Okay my friends I've just been playing around with the rolled hem foot on my sewing machine and oh I think this is going to take a bit for me to get used to and to sort of like conquer I I can see how it works but I think oh my gosh this fabric is just so fine and delicate it's really hard to sort of feed it through evenly I'm also not very good at like starting so I have a section here that just worked perfectly which is what I started with and then it went off kilter and then I started again, and then <laughs> this first seam is just no. So then I tried again on this side, and it's a little bit better, but it's still not perfect. I think I'm going to leave the rolled hem foot for this project, and just really play with it a little bit more to try and master it. I think using rayon for like the first go is maybe not the best idea, 
because it's really it's really hard to sort of work with because it's just so like fine and slippy but I'm really proud of myself for giving it a go I've never used it before I think I know the basics of how it works I get it but just getting the fabric to behave to then feed it through properly I think is my issue I think definitely when you can get it to work it's a beautiful stitch and it does do a really nice finish this tiny little section is the first bit that I did I was like oh my gosh it worked but then it just went no so then I tried again and I've got this awful horrible sort of hacked job seam that just no just is not the one it just looks awful so then I tried again on this side and you can see what I mean I'm not very good at how it starts but then once it sort of gets going this bit here worked perfectly it's so nice it's a really nice finish and also on that side as well it's really nice but just getting it to be like that the whole time is really hard because then it just decided to do that and I was like okay so because this didn't really quite work out the way that I wanted it to, which is okay, these things happen. We'll just take my little armhole ruffles that do need to be gathered, but we need to do the hem first. I'll take it to the iron and I'll press those seams up so that they're nice and perfect. I might, should I try and do a rolled hem on the overlocker? Hmm, that's an idea. Maybe I should just go old school and just turn it up and sew it. I think we'll just do that. We'll, we'll go back to plan B and we'll do the old school hemming and then gather them up using the little gather stitches I've sewn. Just sort of gather up quite nicely like that. Oh my gosh, that's going to look so cute. When things don't work out, we look for a solution onwards and upwards and we'll get it done. I'm so happy that I gave it a go though. It's just a, a future thing to, to perfect, I guess. quarter to ten and I've had enough of the day <laughs> but in saying that I've actually gotten quite a lot done tonight I got the sleeves all finished there's our lovely ruffly sleeves so pretty so for the hem I just did a narrow stitch on the overlocker and then press it over and just did a seam down that edge so you have that really nice sort of delicate seam there hopefully it's focusing okay on that and then after I gathered and sewed the ruffle on I just overlocked that edge as well so everything's all nicely finished and I just pressed it as well it's a little bit hard to tell but that's the top finish so we have our ruffly sleeves on either side very nice and now I'm working on the skirt I've sewn all of the panels together and I've also hemmed the bottom of the skirt as well so that's already done and now I'm just pinning all of the oh sorry there's so many pins in this now I'm just pinning all of the gathering stitches together to the top half of the skirt to then sew that into place so I've pinned the first half of the skirt I just have to pin the other half tomorrow sew it together finish it and then attach it to the top part and then we do facing do the sash and that's finished so quick and simple so I'm looking forward to seeing how far I can get with that tomorrow but before I go as always we need to do the advent calendar all right we're finding door 20 today 20 is not on that side it must be on the other side door 20 is up the top here and it says find your zen I wonder what it could be I haven't really been paying attention but I wonder if what it says on the doors matches the T inside I haven't, I haven't really made that connection, if it is, but yeah, find your zen, what can it be? Oh, it's red. So today's little tea bag saying is, the grass might be greener, but the tea is just right. And this is a flavoured rooibos to sain in a bag, and it is a sticky date delight. Oh my goodness, definitely don't connect that with finding my zen, so I'm thinking that's not how this advent calendar works. Okay, so sticky date delight is... The traditional sticky toffee pudding in your hot little hands. The indulgent rich tastes of caramel, silky smooth toffee sauce, 
and steamy, sticky date make for a drool-worthy brew that's simply sublime. Oh my goodness, this is a very Christmassy tea. So this one has the rooibos, caramel, roasted chicory root, figs, marigold petals, and dates. Wow, I cannot imagine what that would really taste like. Oh, I can't wait to try that one. Happy days. Okay, my friends, thank you so much for joining me today. It has been another very productive day. It has also been a really lovely day opening up a very generous P.O. Box gift. Yeah, just happiness all around. And the weather has been amazing today. It hasn't been hot. It's been cold and rainy, which is fabulous for me. So I hope you're all having a lovely day. And I'll see you all again tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 21. Bye-bye.